class. It's Miss Amber. And I'm inside my house. I'm in the living room of my house. But I have things set up to help you learn. I don't normally have these things out, but I have them out for you so that I can get to them to show you. So we talked about our colored or continent globe and we talked about the names of the continents. Do you remember the continent song? Let's sing it together. Tell me the continents, tell me the continents, tell me if you can. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa. Don't forget Australia, don't forget Antarctica. Tell me the continents, tell me the continents, tell me if you can. So I have here a continent box. This box has things from North America in it. North America is where we live. We live on the continent of North America. Here is what North America looks like on our continent globe. Here we go. Here's North America. We live in North America. However, North America contains many places. So one place is where we live in the Chicago area. And I have something that we might find in North America. You might find it on a walk, and that's a pine cone. There are many pine trees in North America. That's why I put it in my box. You know, everything in your house and in your yard is from North America. So you could make a continent box at home that represents our continent. Because we live in North America right now, right? So I have things from other places too. This is a toy from Mexico. This came from a market in Mexico. If you see those colors and designs, and a Mexican artist made that. This is a toy with a hole and a peg. And I'm supposed to try to get this cylinder ugh, on top of my peg. And it's super challenging. Maybe I'll bring this back to school when we go back and you guys can practice. It's like a t I think I'd have to do it for a while to really get it. It's supposed to go boop. It's a game. It's from Mexico. Mexico is not where we live, but it is also in North America. We share the same continent with Mexico. It's a country in North America. It's very hot in most of Mexico. People speak Spanish in Mexico. They have a different culture than the United States, but we live on the same continent. Something else I have in my continent box is some sand. This sand is from Florida. This is from the, uh, the east side of Florida. So the sand is more gray. See that? Sand. So there's all different kinds of soil and sand in the United States. And that's the same with North America as well. This is just a little bit of sand from one part of North America. I also have corn, corn kernels because corn grows throughout North America. We eat and sell lots of corn in North America, in the United States, in Mexico, and even Canada. There's corn. I also have maple syrup. Maple syrup comes from trees. And the way we get maple syrup is making a little peg in a tree and letting some of the syrup leak out and we collect it in a bucket and then we boil the bucket with water for a long time and it makes a sweet yummy soil that we put on waffles and pancakes. So syrup, maple syrup comes mostly from Canada. There's a lot of maple trees and a lot of factories that help produce this maple syrup. But we have it here in the northern part of the United States as well. So I put that in my continent box as well. And lastly, I have a painting by an American artist called Cy Twombly. Look at that art. There are so many types of art in North America and in even the United States, and this is just one piece of art. And lastly, I wanted to show you some animals that are in North America. 
These are animals that you might have seen, or if you maybe went on a special trip or even um, in this area made close observations you could see. One is called the bison or the buffalo. Can you see that? Let me see if you can see it. <laughs> How far do I have to hold it for you to see it? The bison. The bison or the buffalo. There are bison and buffalo in Fermilab. So if you go with your parents, um, when Fermilab opens up again, you could actually see these and you can kind of take a picnic close by them. They're a big, big animal. It's a uh, buffalo. The next one is a beaver. Beavers cut down trees with their big teeth and they make little dens out of them to live in and they have a big tail that they flap the water with. That's a beaver. We have some beavers around here. They're harder to spot. We don't have these around here. This is special. This is called a grizzly bear. Grizzly bears are in some parts of the United States, like maybe Northern California and Alaska, um, and in Yellowstone Park. That's out west in like Wyoming and Montana. Grizzly bears are very ferocious, so we don't want to get too close to a grizzly bear. Black bear. We don't have any bears around here, but the further north you go in the north woods, like Wisconsin and Minnesota, there are black bears. A sea otter. I have great news about the sea otter, and that is I know someone who saw a sea otter down the street across from school in the river right near school. So we need to be on our watch for the sea otter that lives around here. Next we have a moose. Moose are in many northern places like Alaska and Canada and parts of Colorado and Maine. I have never seen a moose and I've always wanted to. We don't have moose around here, but they are in North America. Mountain lion. Mountain lions do sometimes come down from the mountains and appear in areas like this, but they're usually in more mountainous areas. That's why they're called the mountain lion, like the Carolinas and out west. We have mountain lions in the United States, but not here. Elk. Elk is another thing that we don't have here, but there are many out west in the United States in other parts of North America, like Canada. We have, this is a wolf. This one is like white. That must be pretty rare. Maybe it's like a light gray. Wolves are not common anymore here, but there are some, again, in, in preserves like Yellowstone out west. Okay, here's something you will have seen. Raccoon. All you have to do is keep your eyes open or go on a walk at night. And I bet you'd find one. Here is a mountain goat. There are many mountain goats in mountainous areas of the United States. And the last one is big horned ram. That looks like he likes the mountains too. So we don't have one of those around here. I bet you could find many other animals that live in North America just by going outside and going on a walk and seeing what you see here. So an animal from North America is one that has always been in North America. So let's say you have a dog and it's a terrier, that's a small fluffy dog. It might not have always been in North America. It might have come from Europe at one point, but there are animals when we go on a walk that have always been here. If we go down to the river, if we observe, I've been seeing a fox in my yard every couple of days and that's a fox from North America. It's a North American fox. I've also seen robins. I have seen blue jay. Uh, what other animals have I seen? Well, I definitely saw a raccoon and there has been a possum in my window well. So those are other North American animals. So you need to go out. You can make your own North American continent box with just things in your house and your yard. And you can go on a walk, you can go in your yard, and you can look for other North American animals because we're in North America right now. All right, thanks so much. See you next time.